welcome to the NCAA Softball Regionals presented by Capital One. Day two here in Stillwater. Hey, the firefighters are out. They got the best seats just outside the house here at Cowgirls Stadium. It's the hottest ticket in town for Oklahoma State and Kentucky. This is a winner's bracket matchup. Yesterday's starter, Stephanie Schoonover as well. As Riley Smith steps in to lead things off. First pitch swinging and a base hit. And the first hit off of Kilfoyle in the regional, and she's gonna stretch it into a double. Other than that, a lot of strikes. Ground ball to third and hops up on Talon Edwards, not in time at first. And a couple aboard for Kentucky. Ludworth was going after the ball. Score that one, E5. Vanessa Nesby dropping down the bunt and it will stay fair and the bases are loaded. Well, it might have hit the bat. Yep. Yep. Hard shot down the line and everybody's going to be fair and a run will score and Kentucky jumps in front as Riley Smith comes home. Smitty, you talked about it. A lot of ground balls that are going to come with Lexi Kilfoyle, and because of that, we're seeing hard ground balls find a way to either get through with errors, find their way to the backhand of Talon Edwards. Perkins, who had the walk-off hit yesterday. Deep center field, back to the track, and off the wall. One run is in, and that'll do it for Kentucky. The deep RBI single for Allie Hutchins, and it is 2-0 rare to see a hitter be able to get underneath the pitch, but the drop ball was left up in the zone. And Hallie Hutchins, she had the walk-off hit yesterday to beat Michigan, and this one almost a grand slam just off the top of the wall. What a start for Kentucky. Teams in the SEC, almost 300 on the pitch. Plots herself is a 450 hitter. Called strike three. One down. And already four hits and two runs allowed here in the first today. Swinging and a miss by Mitchell and back-to-back -back strikeouts for Lexi Kilfoyle. Or try to hit it. Yeah. One and two from Kilfoyle. Got her. Three straight strikeouts to end the inning. Kentucky a couple in, but they leave them loaded. Spin. Poulard gets a hold of one. Deep center field, back it goes, and it is off the batter's eye. Home run. Poulard continues to swing one of the hottest bats in the country. <laughs> Gritty on home, I love it. Her career. The, this last week, she's now got six home runs, last seven games, gets a pitch up in the zone. She knows it immediately. <laughs> She'll make the call. It's a home run. It's oh, out of here. Oh, <laughs> and it hot. Here's Talon Edwards. Hot shot off the glove of Lorsung, and she legs it out. Now players for Oklahoma State that have double-digit home runs. Yeah. Big uptick in the long balls this year as Wong gets the walk and passes the bat to one of the top freshmen in the country, Carly Godwin. Then it sort of became, with the advent of the three-game series, the shallow pop here. Um, you got starting pitchers on Friday, Sunday, and then another starter on Saturday to now the evolution south and went back east-west. Lost her. What a job by Davis. Wow. Mm -hmm. So Kentucky loaded the bases in the top half, and now Oklahoma. Ball, just something. Gets by Hallie Mitchell, the wild pitch, and a run will score. Edwards sliding in safely to tie it up. And those are the unpredictability and the pitches from Schoonover that you don't expect. A veteran pitcher just loses this rise ball just well out of the zone above the head of Mitchell. Talon Edwards, really good jump. Understand. Pokes tied up. Up 
opposite way and a base hit and the bounce away from Riley Smith. Oh, and they only get one run in as Wong scores. Davis holding at third base. Kenny was sending her too, and he was saying, look at me. She actually looked back at the play she had held up, but a beautiful job for Claire Smith. Talked about her chasing the rise ball. She gets a rise ball she can meet. And Riley Smith, this is a high hop. Bounces off her chest, but should have been an easy score. They should have had two on that. Yes. Well, and the throw going back to second as well. I mean, everything was. In foul territory and playable, and it's caught by Lorson. And there's nobody home covering home plate. They do record the out at second base, but the run does score. And a miscue defensively for Kentucky. Oh, and this is a great job by Lorson to go make this catch up against the wall, but it they're ready. This is already the number nine hitter in the top of the order that Riley Smith's gonna come up again. She's on deck. That is four straight strikeouts now for Lexi Kilfoyle, who Alabama team. Ground ball to short. Bloodworth is there. Two down. And here comes Aaron Koffel. Skies the 2-2. Two -two. Claire Tim is out there. And a 1-2-3 inning. Much more calm for Oklahoma State. And the Stephanie Schoonover. 3-0 is the count to Lexi McDonald. A four-pitch walk that is three walks to the first eight batters she has faced. Juice is flowing. The adrenaline pumping. But is in fair territory, and Bloodworth does her job. We have seen some really good yes. bunting from all four teams here. That's a sixth sacrifice we've yeah. seen in this. Tennessee has a bunch of hitters that split as well. Just got that thumb up the handle. Swing and a miss from Schoonover. Gets the strikeout. Two down. Full count to Edwards with Caroline Wong, the three hitter on deck. And a shot to Tobias at second. She'll take care of it. Runner is bringing in that extra position player into that up the middle position. Tap to third, Edwards is there. Two one is popped up. Bloodworth back on the grass, fighting the sun, and will give way to Poulard, who has both the visor and the sunglasses to help her out. How does know what's up? <laughs> Two down. She was the game-winning hit yesterday against Michigan, bottom of the seventh. Gets the swing and miss. Fifth strikeout, keeping it low. And it's all about getting that experience. Ground ball and a hard shot right back up the middle that Koffel couldn't quite get to. You know you've hit it hard if you can get it past Aaron Koffel, one of the best. Ground ball to Koffel. They'll go to two for the first over to first base for the double play. Davis. Deep fly ball back to the track, and it's off the glove of Riley Smith. Could not haul it in. And Davis cruises into second. All five times she's come up. And that's a fair ball inside the bag at first. Davis rolling around third, and she'll cruise on in to score. RBI double for Claire Tim, and it's five to two. Claire Tim is just going to get a pitch on the inner half. And look at the way she clears those hips and just barrels this up, gets it right down the line. Going to get it into the corner. And Davis easily going to score from second base. Back-to-back -back doubles by Davis and Tim. Puts another run up on the board for the Pokes. They've got another one here for Wark. And two of the, two of the three walks have scored. Those free passes. Mm -hmm. Wild pitch. And Wark is aboard.
Jamder pops it up and back on the grass, able to snag it is Tobias. Couple left on, but one more run in. Five unanswered for Oklahoma State. Buck 35, 34% whiff weight. Yeah. And she'll chase you, you know, she'll, she'll get you to swing at it out of the zone. Second strikeout in a row, sixth of the day. They would stay home for the Super Regional again next weekend as a five seed. Another strikeout for Kilfoyle. That's seven, two down. Second one looking. Well, it looks like Kentucky is in. Set up to the outside, tried to pull it, and another one, two, three inning for Lexi Kilfoyle. That is 12 in a row. She has put down. Popped up. Borzaleri calling for it, one down. Back mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. Couldn't do that again if you tried. <laughs> <laughs> Rule change next year. Poulard lifts it out to Riley Smith. She's got it, two down. In a row, and I believe Arizona's was 35 in a row. And a strikeout for Vickers. It's a one, two, three inning. Is yesterday five innings of perfect pitching before she was pulled. Her pitch count again today is really low. Nice snag by Edwards at third. Front of the box when she's hitting, she kind of moves back, give herself some room when she wants to move her feet. Caught by Davis, two down, was in the first inning. Got her to reach. 15 in a row, retired by Lexi Kilfoy. Caroline Wong, it's 3-4-5. Oklahoma State, a four-run first, and added another one in the third, and Wong drops one out into left. Ground ball up the middle and just out of the reach. Of a diving Margaret Tobias back-to-back -to -back hit. And caught, and a tag applied. No, did not get her. Koffel. Made a great catch, almost got the double play. <laughs> got her. Called strike three, two down. This is a back to back singles to start the inning for Oklahoma State. And that's going to be a pass ball. And the runners move over. Goes back to it, and there is strike three. Another great experience to go down to Lafayette or to Baton Rouge. For some good softball and some good grub. And a strike out here for Kilfoyle. That is number nine. It's now our hard stuff is 66 to 68 miles an hour, and then that true changeup a little bit slower in the 50s. Boom, that's the change. Are we calling that an off-speed drop, that one that's, that's right. at uh, 61, 62? Absolutely. Into the hands of these righties has serious bend. Yeah. Strikes out the side here in the sixth inning. Maxwell leaving here and going to Oklahoma. Words were exchanged. That's all water under the bridge. Now that they've played against each other, there's a ground out to first. Here's Megan Bloodworth, first pitch swinging. Fly ball out to Jenna Blanton. Check that, that is now Delaney Sullivan out there, two down. Poulard pulls that one towards the scoreboard, and it is indeed Jillian Pouillard doing it again. Wow. Second of the day. <laughs> I love the way she dances into home. 
just the 11th of the year going down and getting a ball on that lefty-lefty matchup. And you could just tell off the bat immediately that was leaving the yard by Poulard. We've been doing this, what, 17 years together now, the three of us at the NCAA tournament? I, I don't know that we've seen a hot home run streak like she's on right now. Just I think one of the things about this Oklahoma coaching staff is they do a good job of getting the best of their players. Third out of the inning, 6-2 pokes. Three outs away from a dub, thank And for Oklahoma State, as the seeded team, a regional win keeps them home for the Supers next weekend. That is the fifth strikeout in a row now for Lexi Kilfoyle and an even dozen. Slow roller to second, Davis charges, not in time. And Kentucky has its first base runner since the first inning. Yeah. It's so rare that she'll throw a ball. That's why the crowd's mad. Yeah. <laughs> Look at do the other way. Tim has it two down. And the last chance now for Kentucky. Some of the best that we've seen her all year. One strike away. Right back to Lexi, and fittingly, she records the final out. And host a Super Regional next weekend. It is their 17th straight regional win at home, dating back to 1998. So there's your updated bracket. Kentucky's got to come back later tonight at 6 Eastern to face Michigan or Northern Colorado.